How you doing, YouTubers? Jerry here. I uh, got an update on this antenna situation I have going on here for this scanner for Chester County. And uh, the antenna out there you're looking at right now, I uh, actually had uh, the whole pole down and everything. And uh, that's what I did is I put a uh, another antenna up there if you can see it. And that's all the way to the top now. That's going to operate for the P25 system. Uh, being the antenna right here is not really a too good antenna for it right now. But uh, as you can see, I adjusted that antenna there in the middle. And uh, all I did was take out the one bolt and uh, tilt tilt the bottom of it down so that the, the whole antenna is lifted up. So it's kind of pointing like over that way. Right over past that tree a little bit. The tree that's closest to me here. And uh, it's facing that way, although you can't really tell in the video. But uh, and the whole antenna is tilted up instead of uh, facing the the hill over there now. I can't focus it won't let me uh, bring the picture in either. But yeah, yeah, it's kind of like up in the air instead of straight out. And uh, actually, it's receiving a lot better now. And actually, the whole thing's receiving a lot better. Than the, that to the antenna. You have four points. That error rate's staying low, too. Can you give me the point of activation again, please? Uh, it jumped a little bit there. That's because the wind's blowing. Coming in from the perimeter. But basically, the whole uh, the whole deal with this whole antenna situation is uh, when it gets windy like that, uh, it starts blowing the antenna back and forth. And uh, basically, if you think about it, it's like the airwaves are being uh, being thrown off. So uh, yeah, basically, the uh, the airwaves are being uh, thrown all around the whole antenna, and it's just not it's not working out too well like it's supposed to. So uh, I'm going to keep this antenna here in the middle for the living room. I'm just going to extend the coax because it's RG6. The antenna up there is brand new. Uh, it's running LMR400, which is the thick stuff. I don't know if you can see, but it's down there. Yeah, you can't really tell, but yeah. You might be able to see it on the pole. But yeah, it's running the, uh, the thick black cable. LMR400. 50-foot uh, coax cost me about... $47, I guess. And then I had to have uh, two ends put on it. Uh, they're uh, PL259 ends. And I'm just waiting for my end to come from California for the scanner, which is uh, PL239 to fit the two, two... Hold on, how's it go here? I'm waiting for the PL239 to get here. And it's a female. And that's so I can screw the end of the PL259 onto that. And then it comes with the BNC connector to screw on, to hook onto the back of the scanner. You can't find them in a local Radio Shack or Home Depot or Lowe's or anything. So you kind of have to search around on eBay if you want if you're looking for something like that. You can find it there. Alrighty, YouTubers, have a nice day.